Good morning, you guys. So, I did get literally the same cards I pulled yesterday for some of this. Um, so I'm not going to go too much into that again, but I will touch on it because I'm being told to. Um, but... Spirit wants you to surrender denial. And if you're somebody like me who lives in the clouds, you know, <laughs> then it's, it's hard, you know, because you like your fantasy world, it's better. But Spirit wants you to accept situations and people as they are. And understand when someone shows you who they are, believe them. You know, we like to think that, oh no, they're... Good morning, Amy. <laughs> you know, we like to think that when people show us their true colors, that, oh, they're just having a bad day, or this is going on, and that's going on. And in fact, that may be the case. But in reality, it doesn't matter, because if I don't know you well enough to know that you're not an asshole on a regular basis, and that's how you're approaching me, then there's a good probability that you are just a fucking asshole on a regular ass basis. So... Understand that you can't change people and I know we touched on this yesterday, but spirit brought it back up again today So we're touching on it again and As much as we'd like to change people It's not possible. We can't so it's either you accept them for who they are or you don't good morning, Janine um, So Set boundaries uh, the people that you're dealing with if they are assholes let's say because that's good enough for me um or whoever whatever they are to you however they are if they don't treat you how you want to be treated this is a lesson in you learning how to set boundaries for yourself and have standards of what you will and won't accept from people okay so accept them for who they are and understand that is truly who they are right now you know maybe they need healing maybe they need to work through their own shit but ultimately what they are showing you and how they're acting is who they are you know that's them so you probably need to work on setting limits and saying well okay if you're gonna be an asshole towards me then we're not gonna talk or if you're gonna be in and out then we're not gonna be having conversations I need someone that is consistent I want someone that's gonna be caring and considerate and compassionate and have your standards you know have your boundaries don't let people cross those boundaries even if they think you're being a bitch or an asshole or they stop talking to you or any combination of it because the people that are <sighs> those people that are trying to walk all over you are the ones that are going to have issues with your boundaries and clearly there's someone that you're dealing with that is not the nicest person or the most spiritual or uplifting or whatever combination you want to use. Good morning, Dory. So understand that you can set your boundaries. You don't have to explain your boundaries to anyone. You don't have to explain why you don't want to do things or why things are the way they are. You know, and sometimes you meet a specific person just so that you can find your boundaries and that's why spirit presents them to you. And you're just like, God, why is this person such an asshole and I just love them? That's why, because you have to learn how to love yourself enough to set the boundaries. And regardless of how much you love that person, you need to say, no, you're not going to treat me like shit. No, you're not going to walk all over me. Yes, Janine. I got one of those in my life. Yeah, I think we all do. <laughs> it helps with the boundaries, though. <laughs> um, so definitely, you know, don't be afraid to set your limits. And if you're not a person that's used to having boundaries and setting them, start slow. You know, don't freaking create about a thousand boundaries and be like, okay, well, I don't even remember what boundaries I set today. Don't do that. <laughs> find a couple, find like the real major ones of if people are always taking advantage of you or asking you for shit or however, you know, start with that and be like, you know what, today I will do one thing for one person and that's it and see. And then if you're not in the mood, then say, you know what, I would love to help you, but I'm not in the mood today. I don't feel good or whatever. You don't even have to explain if you don't want to, but start setting the boundaries so that this person can understand that Girl, I've been working on boundaries. I had no boundaries. I was horrible. 
I was like, okay, I'll help you, no problem. Because, you know, I just like helping people, which is bad and good at the same time, I suppose. Um, <laughs> but please set your boundaries and understand, okay, whoever you're dealing with, that's who they are. You can't change them, so don't be frustrated about it. And, you know, don't be so stubborn. Well, yes, Amy, sometimes you do have to walk away because you just be like, you know what, fuck you. And um, when you get your shit together, you can come back and visit. <laughs> yeah, boundaries is hard, especially when you grow up in a home where there are no boundaries or they're blurred, where it's just like, yeah, it could be anything. Exactly. It is important for empaths to have them because... It's insane the amount of shit you absorb, the amount of shit you pick up, the amount of shit you tolerate. You're just like, I'm not a bad person. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> yes, it's real shit. Um, so, you know. Well, yeah, don't. Drama is avoidable. You know, try to avoid it. Try, just look at the stubbornness you know and maybe they're stubborn you know this can go either way it could be you or it could be the person that feels this way maybe they're thinking that you're being stubborn and that's fine let them believe whatever the hell they want to believe just let them know hey love how are you doing let them believe whatever they want to believe about you you know you're like no i'm setting boundaries i'm loving myself first and that's it i don't give a fuck about anything else or how you feel or whatever you know because ultimately they've been taking advantage of you they've been shitty to you they've been doing all of these things to you that are not beneficial for you you know so don't feel bad yeah no you got to stay away from people that bring your vibration down it's not cool I know it's hard, but you'd be like, yeah, I got to go over here to people that make me happy and feel nice. <laughs> so believe in what it is. Believe what they're showing you. Don't feel bad about the situation at all. And don't be frustrated, you know, understand that they are broken or they have their own shit going on. But ultimately, you need to work on you. You need to love you. You need to set your limits, your boundaries, and don't let people cross them. And when they do cross them... Let them know that, no, this is not okay. You know, don't be afraid to speak up and let people know that they're crossing your boundaries and they're disrespecting you. Yes, fuck them, Dory. My kind of girl. <laughs> so, you know, don't, don't be afraid. Let people know what you feel. Let people know, like, no, you're not going to do it. I don't care. Maybe I used to be that way, but I'm not anymore. So you're either going to shape up or ship the fuck out. It's one of the two. So... Don't be afraid. You're speaking your truth. Stand in your truth at all fucking times. All right. And spirit wants you to surrender to divine timing. I don't know how many which ways I'm going to say this, but yeah. Divine timing is what's in play now. And it looks like there's karmic completion. So if some of you have been going through karmic cycles, they're either coming to an end or have ended or will be ending. So that's a plus and be happy for it because that means you've learned whatever lesson spirit was trying to teach you. And now you can move on to the next phase. And it looks like it's going to be fun. You know, something that's adventurous, something you've been dying to do. Yes. <laughs> um, so, you know, surrender to that. And don't be afraid of it, okay? And there's going to be gifts that are exchanged, but that could be an even exchange of energy with the people you hang out about. Um, it could be an even exchange between two people. It could be actual gifts being presented from one to another. You know, it could be a variety of things. So if you are in a relationship or, you know, holidays, birthdays, all that shit's going on, you know, there's an exchange of gifts, but please understand that in all of these things, spirit wants you to find a balance and to understand that your dreams need a practical plan. So that means sit down and make notes. Say, okay, this is what I want to do today, or this is what my goal is. Yay, Halloween emojis. <laughs> You know, and write your list down and say, okay, well, this is my end game is over here. This is what I'm trying to achieve and see how you can take steps towards that. You know, it doesn't have to be any ginormous things. They take little baby steps towards it. As long as you're putting in the work towards it, 
it'll be great. You know, you'll be working towards it and you'll feel good about it. Now, you have to trust your intuition and how you're managing things and how you're doing things. When you're dealing with other people, like I said, everything is an exchange of energy. So make sure that you're dealing with the right people and you're not doing things just because it's easy or convenient at that time because sometimes the easy and convenient thing comes back to bite you on the ass later. So try to be careful with the people that you are dealing with and make sure that they're with you, they're for your highest good, okay? That the long-term scheme of things that you guys are like, okay, yes, we are on the same page. Yes, this is gonna be beneficial for everyone. It's gonna work out great, okay? And they're saying the ball's in the other person's court so again if you're dealing with somebody and they're like dragging their feet and making a decision or trying to figure out whatever the fuck's going on just chill you know because everything happens in divine timing as i said everything's a synchronicity everyone has to be on the same page at the same time and that's a fucking lot of people to be on the same page so just allow things to unfold as they need to unfold and the biggest thing today is why spirit wants you to ask yourself why you know it'll be why are you in this relationship or why do you want this job or why did you say something that wasn't so nice or why are you afraid ask yourself that question whatever it is that you have going on get to the core of it because in doing that you'll be able to understand why you really feel a certain way or why that bothered you or whatever the hell you know but ask yourself why because we don't do that <clears throat> excuse me you know we don't ask ourselves why oh jesus christ sorry this is getting on my nerves um so you know do that because a lot of us just kind of wander around and we don't even know why we do things sometimes we do things because we're like oh well i love them or you know they were nice or oh they needed help or whatever but maybe there's something inside of us that's like i like to do this because it makes me feel better or maybe you were raised to be a people pleaser and it has you fucked up so you're always giving more than you should be giving you know really sit with yourself and ask yourself why you're doing the things that you're doing you know even if it's a response to someone or you bit somebody's head off and you're just like damn i reacted really harshly why did you do that you know why were you so harsh why couldn't you have been nicer because usually it's coming from something deep down inside. So please go through and analyze, analyze everything because that is a way for you to figure out what's truly wrong and truly resolve the issues that are going on inside of your mind and everywhere else because your mind's a crazy ass place. It really has you, it gets you all the way fucked up. So if you're gonna use it, use it to ask questions and figure out how to heal yourself so that you can be better, okay? And be fair in all things that you're dealing with, okay? That is a very important thing because no one likes to be treated unfairly and, you know, it's life. So everything isn't always fair, you know, to maintain a balance, you know, there's fairness, there's unfairness, there's balance in everything. But try to handle all dealings with fairness, you know, the way you would want to be treated. You'd like to be given a fair opportunity or a fair chance. Yes, writing is very helpful. Uh, I, that's one of my my go-tos is always just write the shit down, write the shit down, write the shit down because it's something to reflect on. Um, I think I was cleaning out my garage and I found, I want to say it was like a poem or something I had written a lot of years ago, but it was in regards about myself and how I felt about me. And this was years ago. So the fact that I was reading it and I could still identify with those feelings, it said so much to me. And I was like, oh my God, I've been so broken for so long. And I didn't even realize it because again, you forget about the shit you write. You're just like, yeah, whatever. But when it comes back, it resurfaces and you're just like, wow, you know, I need to fix this. So writing is always good because it's something to reflect on. It's always something you can go back and look at and see how far you've come, how much progress you've made. And if there's anything that you missed or you forgot and you're just like, you know, I did forget that happened. Maybe this is why this is going on now. You know, so just try to find the good in everything and ask the hard questions, you know, because that's how you're going to heal. You have to ask the hard questions. Don't shy away from it. If it hurts, let it hurt. If it cry, if you have to cry, cry, you know, 
Nobody has to be there when you're crying. Hug a bunny, hug whatever. Just be like, oh, I need you to hold me. You know, they're not going to care. I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. <laughs> and understand, like I said before, you are an individual. You are you. No one can be you. Okay? So understand that whoever you're dealing with, if they are worth your time and are meant to be with you and love you the way they claim they do, you can put up all the boundaries in the world. They will still be there. They will respect your boundaries. Okay, so don't be fearful of losing someone because if you lose them, they weren't meant for you. Or maybe it's just not the right time for them to be in your life because there's things that they need to work on to get their shit together. So don't lose who you are. Okay, don't lose who you're working to be. Don't lose who you're becoming. Don't lose yourself for someone else. Okay, you stay true to who you are and the right person will come to you. But if you keep shifting and changing to fit someone else's mold or someone else's vision of what you should be or how the relationship should be, then you're going to keep wearing masks and you're never going to truly be yourself and you're not going to be happy. Okay, so please understand your individuality is important. Your uniqueness is because that's what you're meant to be. You're meant to be unique. And sometimes it's lessons that that person needs to learn by losing you or you having those boundaries or them understanding they can't walk all over you anymore. That helps them to come back or helps them to awaken. It helps them to figure out shit for themselves. So understand there's always a plan to everything and the way things play out and fall into place. So don't feel bad. Look at it as, okay, well, they have things to learn or I still have things to learn. Don't lose your self-worth for anyone, okay? You are very important and there's a reason you are the way you are and you're going through what you're going through right now. So just try to sit with it and figure it out, okay? But don't lose yourself, okay? It's okay to be with people, but always be who you are. Always have your friends, always have your life, always do what the hell you want to do because it's your life. You don't want to live it for someone else and then at the end of the time, you're like, damn, I regret all of these things. I didn't do anything I wanted to do because I was with this asshole. Nah, don't do that shit. Fuck that. Do whatever the fuck you want. You want to go jump out of planes? Go jump out of planes. You want to go to fucking Cuba? Go to Cuba. Just go. You know, fuck it. Do it. You only live once. Have fun. Enjoy the shit. Um, but yeah, you know, trust your intuition. And, okay, just don't... Don't let people walk all over you. Fuck everybody. And don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to walk away from shit because if you're walking away from it, there's a higher reason, okay? Those are your messages. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later.